What you're watching right now is not some backrooms video. Uh, okay, well, well, this is a backrooms video, but the video within the video is not a video. This is gameplay from the brand new backrooms horror game, The Complex Expedition. And it looks like this throughout. It looks real. And because of that, I was so immersed in this game and it genuinely terrified me in moments. Some moments have me feeling more on edge than I have in a while. This is a truly terrifying experience. So if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I play tons of indie horror games over on my Twitch and every single time I do, I upload it here to this channel. So by subscribing, you make sure that you never ever miss the horror content that you're looking to see. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Dad! My father himself. Thank you for the sub. Uh, this game is lagging a little bit. Let's turn the graphics quality down to mid. <laughs> why would you not put, why would you put medium? Why would you not put medium? Why would you put mid? Oh yeah, no, the, the, currently it's mid. The settings are mid. There we are now, it's not lagging. Cool, cool, cool. It's cool. <laughs> Lamau mid. Thank you, Dad, though. Oh, the music's kicked in. But now I must turn These it down. rooms are so back. Morning, Jack. You know what who else is back? Me! Jack Manifold main channel getting fucking videos. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm going on a holiday in a few days. I'm back, baby. Right. I'm just Ken medieval style. That sounds sick. I've been singing I'm just Ken all day. Because I am him, in a way. I feel like Ken. I feel like Ken, in a way. When I found out patriarchy was just men and horses... I thought that was interesting. <laughs> anyway. Let's play the game, shall we? Story. What's this? Oh, this is links to their, their socials. I will not be giving them promotion. My god. What do they think I am? A charity? Brower, thank you for the 20 more, 21, 21 months. months. Appreciate Poland. it. Jack, you are Kenuff. I know that. I knew that. Anyway. Let's start, shall we? Tape one slot? I think so. Create new tape? I think so. Hello? Baby Owl Bliss, thank you for the prime. Appreciate Hello, you. Hello, how was your day? It's been good, thank you. I've just been at home. I I've been packing for my holiday and I've been doing bits of work. Like uploading some audio for uh, narration for the new video. Three, one, two. Mic check. This is Newman. Oh my god, wait, this is like a video Mr. intro. Mr. Manifold, Manifold, Love 2. Have you ever heard of a band called Lena and the Lion? I haven't, thank you for the 12 months. If not, I definitely June recommend them. Night. Holy shit, this is like... This looks sick! Chat, you should fear the Manifold. He is someone who will scratch his bone eye out. My own eye out, Just it's think true. what he will do to you. Sub with Prime to appease him. True, you should sub, because I scratched my own eye out. What do you think I'll do? Yeah, you know, I might be. Eh, I might be evil. You, Mr. Manifold. Thank Hope you. Your eye recovers soon less oh my God! Wait, this is gameplay. This is what I mean. This looks like fucking found footage. This doesn't look like gameplay. This is on medium graphics. I was like, I thought this was still a cutscene. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hold on. Hello? Do they have any idea what's beyond the gap? Or am I just going in blind? No, I don't think so. I mean, they haven't gone through yet, so I think you're the first one. I'm the first one to go through the gap? What? What does that mean? Okay. Ducky, thank you for the tier one. Pardon? Is this subtitles? Title is clickbait WTF. Also, have you seen the Little Nightmares 3 trailer? I have, but the title isn't clickbait. I'm in the back rooms. Look at this. So just describe your surroundings whenever you see something new or different. Yeah, I know. Okay. Pre-dot, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Is this the one you played with Rambo a while ago? No. No, this isn't. This is a different backrooms game. This one's so cool, though. This is incredible. It looks amazing. Pumpkin coffee. Thank you for the seven. Uh, the seventy-two. Thank you for the prime, even. 
First time primer. Can we get some more? It's free and you get to skip the top of the hour ad for the next month. I'm definitely not going away for a while or anything. And you, you, you know, it's still worth subbing. Uh, okay, it's forcing me to look this way now. I'm not in control of the mouse anymore. I'm not in control of anything anymore. James, thank you for the raid. James viewers, help! I'm in the back rooms. Help! No, I'm in the back. I'm playing a back rooms horror game. Yeah. It looks real. Like it looks like real found footage. It's incredible. Look at this. This is the gameplay. I thought this was a cutscene. Yeah. Copy that. Matt, daddy, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, Daddy. I don't. I don't know. What, I. 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 I already. Regret, I immediately regretted that. I thought that would be funny, and then I immediately regretted it. Can you believe? I don't know where that came from. Let's uh, never do that again. Let's not clip that. Let's actually just pretend that never. Happened. Collectively, James viewers, my viewers, let's all just pretend that never happened, please. That'd be excellent. Thank you very much. I. I'm. So what? Just a room. There's a hallway leading out. Okay. So I'm exploring beyond the gap, apparently. Which is like a bit in the back rooms they've not explored before. I'll be the first one to go through it. Don't clip it! Don't clip it! I'm all, I regret it immediately. I regret it immediately. I felt bad. I felt bad. You can't clip things that I feel bad about. That's wrong. That's just wrong. What, what's the beer? It was a, a, a unfiltered Stella Artois. And honestly, I forgot how much I like Stella. Bosh! Chava! Oi! Proper Chava. No, sorry. I don't know where that, don't know where that came from either. Is that's oh yeah, it is weird that it's wallpapered on all sides. Actually, usually the floor is carpet. That is weird. Huh. That is strange. Okay. The beer kicking in for I've had one beer. That isn't like a indoor house like. The uh, fuck. Guys. Guys. The fuck is happening? Guys. Did I just clip further into the back rooms? Oh, I did! I clipped again! Well, I didn't clip the first time, I guess. The first time I just went in through the, uh... What's the door thing called in the back rooms lore? I forget. Yep. Ra -ro. <laughs> Ra -ro, indeed! Yeah, thank you for the hundred. That's a door, mate. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah, yeah no. What the, the the thing in the back room is the door thing has a name. Yeah, I've fallen down a layer. I've fallen down to the greenish bit. A door? No, it has a name. The the door in the back rooms has a name. You're all being dickheads. Okay, space turns on a flashlight. That's good to know. Okay. Um, thank you for the prime. Was this it? Is this just? Is that I'm here now? By myself? Oh, okay. Well, this seems like the way to go. I swear, though, it wasn't it going down. Like, in the series, in the Kane Pixel series, which this is based off of, apparently. Doesn't, like, the guy... There's, like, the, the, the room with the, the, the holes in the floor. By the way, James Vu's follow if you're new. I would appreciate that. I'd go... He tried to steal my meme. Can you believe that? Also, half the products he reviewed were Jet Manifold products. He reviewed the Jet Manifold skirt, which is a classic. Jet Manifold mug. Jet Manifold did you get a Whopper tapestry. James reviewed, like, you know, 90% Jet Manifold products. So, really, you know, you guys should follow. If you're new. But anyway. Did you get a Big Mac? Did you get a Big Mac? Did you get a Big Mac? By the way, ne do not make any memes out of James saying, did you get a Big Mac? Only with my... Or I'll do it now, watch. Did you get a Big Mac? Did you get a Big Mac, fella? Did you get a Big Mac? There, that's... um. Only do it with my footage. We are not letting James Marriott steal my meme. I may hate that meme, but it's my thing. And that was my creative genius. We're not having that stolen. Anyway, further. And the, and the, and the crowd goes home. Fuck you.
This actually looks like a Kane Pixels video, but I'm playing it. It's insane. Either way, what I was saying, in the Kane Pixels series, I swear... He, like, goes... There's that floor... That room with all the grid... Like, holes in the floor and, like, a grid. And he goes down one. And he ends up in, like, a, a, a section like this with, like, slightly greener wallpaper. And that's where he finds the entity. So I'm a little bit worried. This is on medium graphics, by the way. That's what gets me. Oh, no, sorry, mid. The, their medium setting's called mid, which is hilarious. Okay. It's so eerie. There's just no audio. But breathing. Bamble! Think of the prime. So I do have a flashlight. Oh, you can sprint. I'm maybe not going to do that though. Something lit up as I did, which freaked me out a bit. I'm not going to lie. You can also crouch. Nothing mid about these graphics. Well, that's what I'm saying. The sink rooms. I almost, you know, when I first moved to Brighton, I almost got a bedroom with a sink in it like this. Imagine it's a normal ass bedroom, but in the corner it has a sink with a mirror above it. It was like it was like a normal bedroom, you know, like it had a bed and a, 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 you know, there wasn't a bathroom attached to the bedroom. There was just a sink and a mirror. I was like, what am I gonna do? Clean my teeth in there? Like that's a, okay. I can maybe get a drink if I get thirsty, but like I, I didn't really get the appeal of that. But yeah. Why didn't you get it then? Because uh, the, it was a really nice house, but we lost it. We, we put down a deposit on it. It was lovely. It's a really nice house. Me and Scott were going to live there. It was, like, amazing. But it was a fair bit out of Brighton. Like, it was a little bit of travel. But it was gorgeous. It had, like, this really nice kitchen. It had, a, it had a secret room. It had a secret office. Can you believe this, right? It had a secret office. So in our, in our house we were going to get, right, in the kitchen there was a pantry. And there was all like these these different cupboards and you could open them and they came out and there was tons and tons of storage. But one of the cupboards you opened and it went into an office. Like off of the kitchen there was like a secret office. So I could stream from the secret kitchen room. Can you believe that? That was a real thing I almost had in my house. I thought this game would be great like this. Just no overlay. I really want, I'd, I'd love to like... Hold on, give me two seconds actually. Don't... Hold on, let me play a little bit of music while I do this. Two months. Happy to be a manifolder. I'm happy that you're happy. Hold on. Just, just give this a second. I think this will be worth it. This is going to be so worth it. You, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I think this is going to be cool. Well, I'm cool. I mean... Nope, and then... No! Bro! Come on now. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Okay. And then... Hold on. Hello, Jack R-A-H-H. How are you? Sorry I'm late. I forgot to click the notif. It's alright. I forgive you just about. And then... Hold on. Why 
does that not work? Oh, um. Hold on. What? Why is it not working? What? Oh, the whole thing! Oh, this was a waste of time. I'm doing a thing to make the stream look cool. And it's just not worked. But, or maybe it'll... There we are. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, well, some of this isn't really lined up quite as right as it's. It, uh, it was really small for me, so I didn't reveal it early. Hold on. Boom! I like this. I like this. I like this. This feels more. There's something about this I enjoy. There's a door here. I feel like I paused at the wrong moment. I feel like we spotted this door in the different distance and I got really obsessed with this one idea. Okay. Now I'm in the white rooms. Oh, that's that shit from, um... Oh, what's that? What's that thing? What's that thing? What's that, that thing where the, where the guy's eating cereal and that, and he's like, he's like Ooh. caressing him. Soup! No, he's eating soup! That's it, he's eating soup! And he's crying, and a bunch of these guys show up. The light, just the way the light, like, re reacts to things looks so real. Oh, it's so well done. Okay. Oh yeah. Still got the music playing. Okay, big chairs. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's comforting. This game looks more like it's a recording than an actual game. It does. I actually prefer this. You know, I spent all that time doing the overlay. I don't even like it that much. Fuck's sake! I don't even know how many viewers we lost with me trying to fucking fuck around with that overlay. Just for me to go, nah, I don't even like it. My bad, my bad, my bad. That's nice. That's nice. You, you didn't know you forgot to follow? Oh my goodness! Wing for wi wing, wing for real. Thank you for the seven months. It does look more like a recording than a horror game, and that's what's creepy about it. I can zoom in and out the camera. That's mad. Okay. It's a door. How do I interact with things? Okay. That's how you do it. Okay, that threw me off. Red Cross clothing, what? Like, like Red Cross, like the charity shot, like British Red Cross? Okay, so I thought I had footsteps that like weren't mine. Well, I can't see anything in there. The fuck? It's so odd. 
Okay. Squip peak! Ah, oh, like pipsqueak, but different. You're so quirky. Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate you very much. September, it's 25% off. Why not? Get to skip the top of the hour ad in 35 minutes. It's a good, you know. Okay. Um. It's so crazy how much this looks like a video. It's insane. So on edge. There seems to be no like I'm just kinda walking around. I don't I'm not really finding anything. Hey how you can hear the breathing. I hate how it's all you can hear. Kiko says, thank you for the prime. Currently engaging in the Amsterdam activities, but can't stop that manifold grind. A marijuana Dude. Nah, no, dude. No. Oh. Mods, you gotta ban that. I'm sorry. I can't condone that. We gotta ban that guy. We gotta get rid of that guy. Ban that guy. Get him out of here. I don't care if they suffer for Get him out of here. I can't condone that. <laughs> this is a joke, by the way. You don't have to ban them. Wait, I swear we've been here already. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. No, I swear we've been here. That's like... We've done like a loop. Right? James Manifold? Did you just call me James Manifold? This is not- Just because James Raider does not mean I'm now also James. I'm just me, baby. Kiara Lee? I'm managing to sub BCI figured out how to use my prime subs who want me. How do you crawl? Oh, like that, okay. Okay. Thank you for the uh, Prime stuff, by the way. Finally managed to sub because I figured out how to use my Prime. Everyone should figure that out by clicking subscribe right now and ticking the box. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I thought it was like a. I thought it was like those alien skeletons they found in Mexico. You know, you know those like skinny little aliens that that, that that Mexico are claiming are like real. I thought it was one of those. I think it's like actually a bike frame. Oh, it's coat hangers. It's crazy what indie devs can do with their games. It is. It is crazy. Okay, nothing in here. It's not Mexico claiming that, it's Mexican fake scientists. No, because here's the thing. So they, they were independently studied. Uh, and I believe... Um, well, no, so not independently, I believe... I saw a thing the other day. I, I, I've been led to believe by the internet that the Mexican government is now getting involved in also pushing this narrative. But I, I might be wrong. Does this game have an ending? I have no idea. Like, literally zero. Hold on, two seconds. Cool. Sorry, I had to send my girlfriend a text. She's going to bed, and I wanted to say good night before she went to bed. On account of that is a nice thing to do. Uh, oh, new room. Oh, I'm in like the living room bit. 
I'm in like the living room bit. Okay. Oh, this puts me on edge. This feels like something just come charging at me through here. It hasn't though. Okay, that's good. This is like the bit that looks like a house, isn't it? I don't know what this is called. New room just dropped. Guys, new back rooms, yo! This looks like a kitchen. What's the music though? the fuck? Where am I? Okay, the music's coming from over there, but I want to investigate this first. This is your lunchroom. Help keep it clean. What? This is not a... They dropped their... They dropped my ass in the lunchrooms! I signed up for the back rooms! I ain't signed up for the lunchrooms! I just ate! Ain't no way they dropped me in the lunchrooms! I, I didn't even pack any lunch! Oh, what the fuck? Can I climb up here? Is that like a thing you can do? Is there like a button for that? Well, flashlight space, so definitely not that. Doesn't appear that there's any way of jumping up there now. Yeah, there's just not even tables or chairs or like any kitchen or like a vending machine in the lunchrooms. There's just a sign stating that this is the lunchroom. As if you're expected to pack your own lunch and just sit cross-legged on the floor like a five-year-old and eat from your packed lunch. I just got made jump by the sound of my chair squeaking. That was, that was disconcerting to say the least. Okay. I guess we'll go into the creepy music room. Okay, so this is the room the music's coming from. What is that? What sort of material is that? Something JS launched across my room. What do I do? Anguished. Run, hide, run, 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 run. I don't know. Is that what you want? I don't know. What do you want me to? Please. I was. I was doing a song. It's gonna build, it's gonna build, it's gonna build. I'll join in. We're gonna build, we're gonna build, come on. Is that it? What? I did it. Shit room anyway. <laughs> Didn't like that one anyway. Yeah, they call me the Riddler. I'd be telling a couple of riddles now and then. Nope. That looks like a hole in the ceiling. I won't be walking under it. So, bro was happy until the music stopped? Yeah, because I liked the song. Good voice, you should be a priest. I don't think priests sing opera. I don't think that's a thing they do. Like, I don't think that's on like the list of priest activities. I, I think they just kind of like say prayers and like run church and shit. Jack Pope era. Why is everyone saying I should be a religious figure? That's not what an opera singer is. The, the Pope? I'm not the Pope. 
Priests sing a little, yeah, they do like a little hymn. I mean, they're not, they're not like sending it. They're not like in there like, time to say goodbye. You know, that's just not what they do. Oh my, this is weirdly open and dark. Hello? Oh, I do not like this bit. The fuck was that? <sighs> Fucking hell. Wait, now I'm really on edge. What the fuck? Manifold the choir boy. I used to be in a choir, but not a choir that sang that sort of stuff. What was that? Oh, I thought it was like a blood stain on the wall. Jesus Christ. The Galactic Law thing of the summer. Me months. getting the butter at 3 a.m. crawling. Look, this is like. This is what it's like going down to the fridge at 2 a.m. to get a drink because you know Freddy Fazbear is going to be there. That's all I'm saying. I'd rather die of dehydration than get a drink at 2 a.m. Freddy Fez. Fre Fre <laughs> well, he'll be at my fridge. That guy. Hey, Jack. Another one. What was it like being a pirate for a bit? Get any pirate booty. Ha ha ha. No. No, I didn't get any pirate booty. That would be wrong. It'd be inappropriate. I have a girlfriend, man. That's wrong. That's just wrong. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here. My cat's name is Butters. Well, like South Park? Yeah, I'm, I'm right at South Park. That's my impression of Butters from South Park. Will you be seated for the FNAF movie? Look, I'm... It's the FNAF movie. I'm pretty hyped about the FNAF movie. Let me just say that much. That's all I'll say. But as if he was kept in a tight containment chamber. That's probably how that would go, I would imagine. Am I back? Did I loop back around on myself again? I've noticed it seems to loop back on itself. Like, I, I feel like I'm in a familiar space again. Is that an elevator? It is. Okay. What is this? I don't know what this is, main character. Time to elevate? Well, yeah, you'd assume. That or, you know, de-elevate. Elevate? I don't know what the word is. Jack, my hamster is called Daisy. My sister has a hamster. Reference! What? Where am I? Am I in a new zone now, or am I... I don't like how familiar everything looks. I don't know if I'm making progress or not. She doesn't have a hamster. They they get it. Okay. No, she doesn't. I don't even have a sister. I mean, I, I'll take it one step further. I don't even have a sister. Yeah. Okay. You know what I like? My PC's lagging just a little bit. So the kind of choppy frame rate of the, the game is translated over to my camera, but that looks quite cool. We're in there like a different room again. What's this? All prepare for major weather. It's like blood stained. straight ahead there's like an object in there that I'm curious about well, can I use the light switch oh you can sick oh it's, it's just a fucking washing machine right or is it a dryer it's so cool that there's like so much depth when you like zoom in on the camera it's a washing machine okay interesting um I guess we'll go in the crawl space. 
The laundry rooms? How many rooms are there? We'll crawl through. Okay, a sofa. We're in the living rooms. Which is better than the dead rooms, so, you know, I mean, I, we've got that to pr- Yo, at the end of the day, I, I, Jack Manifold TV, say, be thankful. Because you could be in the dead rooms, but you're not, are you? And if you are, may God have mercy on your soul. COVID, thank you for the prime. Beaker Wolf? I updated to iOS 17, and I have one major gripe. And I don't know if anyone else has done this and noticed this, but iOS 17, right? So beforehand, the only reason I wouldn't miss texts, right, is because uh, my texts buzzed like, and all my other ones were like, and that's not too different, but, you know what I mean? That, that's enough. So when I get a short little intense, I knew that was a text, right? Uh, was just anything else. I don't have to care about the because it's, it's probably bullshit, but a, that, that's important, right? And that's the only way I wouldn't miss them. And then I upgraded to iOS 17, and now every notification's up. So now I, I always think I'm getting texts, and I'm not. And it's pissing me off. So I'm just constantly checking my phone, I don't need to. You sound like that one mosquito. Hey, when I'm like, when I'm like, uh, when my headphones die, but that one mosquito in my room is talented. The mosquito likes death. I used to call the dining rooms the dying rooms as a kid. Never mind. Uh, well, you are in the dining rooms, my friend. I'm going to Spain in two days. I wonder if they'll have. They, they do have mosquitoes there. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll encounter a talented one that goes. That would be pretty cool. Let's go through this door. Hello! Guten Morgen! Oh, my grandfather's cock. That's cool. I remember a song we sang in... <laughs> just a, it was such a shit joke. I'm actually gonna apologize. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, it's got like the, the real textured ceilings too. There was a song in our school choir we used to s sing, and it used to be like, My grandfather's clock was too tall. F oh, why is it covered in, like, cum? That's... W turn that off. Oh, I can't. Okay. That's creepy as shit. Here's got my grandfather's cock was too tall for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was born on the morn that the... Wait, no, it was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his pleasure and pride. You see? It sticks in my head. It used to make me cry almost, because I, um... Because it, it's about the granddad dying. This silly Belen thinks he's funny lol who let him cook. All right, dickhead. You know, my job, you know, you know, I made it my living for the past three years, all right, to entertain. It has been my job. I come on this stream almost nightly and I tell my little jokes. And you know what? I make a living doing it. And thousands of people sit here and they laugh, all right? Who the fuck are you? Was I a dickhead for that? Did I take that too far? Did I get too real there? Thank you for the one pound. <laughs> uh, I still appreciate your pound. Yeah, they were humbled. Someone missed the B and humbled. Oh, okay. Well, I was really intrigued by that door, so I came all the way back from what appeared to be progress just to look at it, and it was nothing. My fault. No, you were humbled? Going a bit far with thousands. All right, look. Oh, okay, look. All right. You know, we, we can reminisce on back in the day. All right. Come on now. 
I was humbled, sure. Look, all right, I took it too far. I got ahead of myself. I have an ego. I do think I'm the best. This is the first stream I've managed to catch live, so I thought I'd share oh, a yeah. weird story. Tell when me. I was six or seven at about 11 p.m., I saw a completely blacked out figure with glowing blue eyes walking up my stairs and then turned left and walked into the wall and disappeared. Oh, you walked into the wall and disappeared? That's how that read. Because if it was the thing that turned, you'd say, and it turned, but you just went, <laughs> I saw a figure and then turned and walked into a wall and disappeared. You, you in the back rooms, my guy? Is that why you're watching this stream? I'm joking. That is weird, though. Think of the 200 bits. Just a weird banister bit. All right, interesting. Hey, man, just came out to my mom. Oh, congrats. Hope it went well. Thank you for the 100. Viewer chatting live in the back rooms. How about the nut room? You guys seen that video where there's that girl and, and she's on Omegle? And the dude's like... It's a creepy room. And he's like, yeah. And, he's, and there's just a, a, a massage chair and a box of tissues and a TV down there. And he's like, that's the nut room. It's the nut room. And watch. This is a fucking... This room's cool. That's such a sick screenshot. Just like, look at that. Isn't that cool? Some of these games are just so visually appealing. I mean, some of the backroom stuff. Like, I get it's a bit liminal, but I, I like it. I, I, lo I love some, like, liminal, creepy photography. This game, this game is stunning visually. There's been no scares so far, though. It's made me very tense, though. Sorry, lad. Love you. Really, you make us giggle sometimes. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry for telling you you're no one. I don't retract it, but I'm, I feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm joking. This game, like, hasn't... There's been no... It, it turned... turned into the wall and walked through it. I know, I was, I was joshing. But that, that is creepy. That's a really weird story. I appreciate you telling us that. But yeah, no, I... Like, this game's really good. I love the way it looks, but it is so far just a walking simulator. Like, I, it's made me anxious at times. There was, when I was in that really dark room, I figured I was going to get jump scared, but I'll be honest. If you see bad life hacks or shish hashtag TTY arts and crafts, know that you're not in the back rooms anymore. You're in the Troom Trooms. That was good. That was good. I too have watched Danny Gonzalez. Not a while though. I need to watch more Danny Gonzalez. Oh, is this the pool rooms? Oh, I like the pool rooms. The pool rooms are kind of sick looking. There's like a nostalgia to it. Like, the pool rooms are creepy and they are liminal, but there's a nostalgia because it reminds me of when our school took us like swimming when I was a kid. And like going, my dad, I always, me and my brother used to love swimming. I still do, but I haven't been in a long time. I haven't been swimming in a very long time actually, probably over a year at least. Probably more. A long time since I swam. And my dad used to take us swimming all the time. Like, all the time. We always, there's this place uh, near where I grew up. Oh, what's it called? This is like a, I'm giving it as like a recommendation because it has a sick water slide. It has like jets and you like fling yourself down. I used to love it. Um, oh, what was it called? Hold on, I'm going to look it up. It's not, it's not close enough to my house. It was like, it was like a, it was like a, like a t 20 minute drive from my house. So it's, it's, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good, and I don't even live there anymore. So, uh, let me think. Um, is it this? My crush texted me. If you could say hi, Ari, it would make my day smiling face with hearts. Is it this? This looks right. I think it's this. Hold on. Let me double check. I need more. They haven't got any pictures. Do they have a website? Hold on. Let me double check. The connection is not private. That makes sense. It's... This looks right. Do you have any pictures of the swimming baths whatsoever? If you have just one picture of the swimming baths, then I will know. I believe it's Retford Swimming Club. That's all I'm sorry. My crush texted me if you could say hi Ari, it would make my day. Hi Ari. Sorry, I didn't mean to air you. I was look, I'm sorry, my fault, my fault. I was trying to figure out look, I was having a nostalgic moment where I was trying to remember where I grew up swimming. And I believe it was Retford Swimming Club. That looks right to me. Yeah, it was. It was Retford Swimming Club, I'm almost certain. But my dad used to take us there all the time as a kid. I used to love it. 
And this, whenever I see the pool rooms, when I play backroom stuff, it reminds me of going to Retford Swimming Club as a kid. I apologize for ignoring you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, 10 minutes till the top of the hour ad. Oh. Aw, the pool rooms were really short-lived. That's a shame. Now look, I'm not a woman, but I feel like we owe the viewers, who are majority female, by the way, to explore all the rooms. No pool. So I'm gonna go in there, but that's not because I'm a pervert, and that's actually because there's the majority of people in this chat are probably women. You, my, my analytics show the majority of the Jet Manifold TV audience is women. This is for you guys. I'll close my eyes. You guys can just tell me if. The, are we in? How do I look at chat? Oh, we, I didn't even go in. Okay, wait, okay. No. Hijack sad no, stuff has been happening in my life, and the timing oh. of it has been like sitcom levels of bad, so oh, your I'm streams sorry. have been a welcome comfort and distraction. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad they helped. Anyway, how do I... I'm not looking. Hey chat, is there anything in here? I'm gonna assume not, not because I'm looking or anything. Look, I'm sprinting out. And I'll close the door on my way out. Okay, you can't do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to look, I didn't mean to look, I didn't mean to look. I didn't look, I didn't, I didn't even look one time, actually. You can tell because I've never lied. They give the 100 bits. It's underwhelming. W what is? Oh, no pool in the pool rooms? Yeah, absolutely, that's underwhelming. We can see you peeping. No, you can't! I wouldn't peep! I would never peep. I'm not even a peeping Tom, uh, even though Tom is my middle name. Once when I was two, I had started screaming my lungs off just before my sister came running downstairs and yelled that there was a man you in her room. should keep your lungs. Turns out that man she had seen died only a few hours before, fell into the river next to our house. He was found about three hours after my sister- Oh my sister god, that's freaky. That's a creepy story. Are you you the same individual who came in and told another story earlier? How many stories you got? Oh no, you're a different person. But still, that is creepy. My god. I, I don't like stories like that where someone dies near a thing and then someone sees supposedly sees a ghost near that, but it actually correlates with a real death. Because it, it's like, oh, that that that's probably real then. That's not Because like, I believe some people just see things like because they're paranoid or like, you know, it, it, there's plenty of reasons why people may hallucinate or whatever, but when it correlates with a real world event, that freaks me out. Especially when it's kids. Kids don't got that sort of stress to be hallucinating and stuff. Wait, isn't this the opera rooms? Oh no, that's just the same material there. Caitlin Jane P. Thank you for the uh, tier one. Wait, I've been here. Oh, it all looped round again! Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, hold on. I don't like how loud that is. It's very off-putting. I guess we'll go this way then. Another crawl space. Oh no, we went this way already. I recognize that. I guess we'll go this way then. Okay. Is your middle name actually Tom? Well, it, it's Thomas, but... But essentially, Tom, yeah. Okay, so we're back in the laundry rooms. Now we're in the pillow rooms. Oh, pillow boy. Guys, what one is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy Seek, Skilly Boo, uh, Zumbo Sauce, uh, Bam Bam, Oh, pillow boy, Bambolina, um, I forgot his name, the Fwag dude. Uh, Slow Celine. Previously hadn't realized how realistic this game was. Struggling just a tad. Can't stop that manifold grind though. There's no need to stop it, you sh and, and, and you shouldn't. So there you are. I love that some people in chat clearly don't know that meme. I don't have it downloaded to this PC. It's 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 saved on my on my PC at home, so you're safe from it because I don't have it like 
downloaded to like anything online. It's not backed up There's to the cloud. There's a spooky little guy who lives in my room, and I like to call him Kyle. That's okay, because he has a cool name. You're allowed to be... Yeah! You see, like, I'm called Jack, so I'm allowed to do things like that and be spooky. You know? Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a fridge. Maybe this is the lunch room. So this is the first time we've seen that, though, so that, that, that means progress. I'm going to go this way. I really like the design. Like, it's very akin to, like, Game Pixel series, but it's just, like... Like, that makes no sense. Like, architecturally, why is there, like, a little gap there? I, I, I fuck with that. Like, a lot. Who raided the fridge? Look, man. Maybe someone's down here. Maybe we, we gotta run for friends. Months. Yippee! Thank you for the 27 months, Jupo alone. I appreciate that. I need a water in a minute. Diplodonculus. Damn, this looks Thank really you to tier cool. One. This looks amazing. Still impressed. Bro got a bit peckish. Look, if you were a backrooms creature and there was no little tasty little humans to, you know, eat eat like that, then you know you would eat from the fridge. Really? Am I making progress? I don't even know anymore. Jack, is you refrigerating funny running? You better go catch it. Oh hell no. Hey well, that's what you get. You gotta you gotta hell no That's what you get for being such a fucking silly, mate. Don't be silly like that ever again in my chat. You will be banned. That is not a threat, that is a warning. Nice archway. Glad I walked through that. Really? Watching from work and these graphics go crazy. They go crazy, go stupid. I agree. We, we, I mean, we've all said it. Seven years of bad luck now? What? That's, isn't that what you get for smashing a mirror? Are you implying that my voice smashed? Is that what you're implying? Or am I, oh, here no! <laughs> Are you implying that that was enough to shatter a... A fine piece of piece of glass. Where are the jump scares? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm also kind of okay that there is none, though. I didn't need to get jump scared today. Whether wallpaper the back rooms did a good job because it's seamless. That's true, actually. It's so weird that like the idea of the back rooms is there's just like are these naturally occurring like. But clearly man-made looking rooms. Oh, this is new. We haven't been here yet. Just two chairs. This is on a downward slope, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Weird. Okay. Supposed to sleep cuz I gotta wake up at 5 a.m. Don't but call me cuz. But the manifold cause. grind comes first manifold dub. Thank you. Ooh! Thank you for shopping with us. Merry Christmas. Please return your baskets here. This is what I mean by the backrooms. Just weird bits of like, it like it clearly is like what weirds me out about the backrooms, and 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 has not been explained in any series yet. Is like there's these there's these there's these, there's this dimension of an almost infinite set of like humanoid like like what looks to be man-made rooms, and they just mimic weird bits of like human consumerism, just like posters and shit. It's so weird. This feels like progress. This is very cool though. He's venting, oh, sus! Guys, he's sus, he's the imposter. Okay. Can I take off this vent door or is this just a dead end? Not a paranormal story, but FNAF 1 came out when I was nine and I was so scared of it, I would see Chica in my closet and shit. I was for real going through FNAF sleep paralysis at nine. Hey, I'm telling you, FNAF fucked up some people's childhood. Like for me, it was Chucky. Like Finish growing up, dad. like I was terrified of Chucky. And you, you wanna know why? You wanna know why? Cause, and this is, uh, and I think this is wrong. 
Because that, that fucking doll is creepy, right, man? And, and the thing is, the, uh, my primary school, primary school, you leave primary school at 10 years old, meaning I was 10 years old and below. And I, I, was, I remember uh, distinctly, I was in year two or three when I first worked this out. So that means I'm either seven or eight, right? No, six or seven even, right? And the fucking, the, 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 our, our like maintenance guys who would show up or like our like groundskeepers, I guess, their truck, they had a Chucky doll t tied to it. Can you believe? So they would show up to the school and this creepy doll that I would like, cause the, like child's play, like child's play was still kind of big when I was like a real, real young kid, like a toddler. I remember my mum would get these magazines and on the back, there was like different phone wallpapers you could get. You could like, t it was like, text this, text this to this number for this phone wallpaper for like your fucking Nokia. And there'd be like Chucky ones. I'd be like, what the fuck? I'd like look at this magazine and go, ah! And I'd be freaked out, obviously, cause he's creepy. But then he'd show up to, and then, and then when I go to school and I think I'm safe, and I think I'm safe, who arrives in my school? But Chucky tied to a van, right? And then this girl I was friends with, shout out Taylor Florence, big up Taylor Florence. One time she bought, she went away on holiday, she came back and she bought me uh, uh, a little town with some little cars, a little play set. Shout out Taylor Florence. I wonder what she's, I haven't spoken to her since I was six. I don't know what she's doing these days. I hope she's well. I still think about those cars sometimes, right? Shout out Taylor, either way. She's like, oh yeah, you know, like that doll, he's not just creepy. You get this, the creepy doll I'm kind of scared of. Turns out he's not just creepy. He's not just creepy. He's a fucking murderer and he kills people, right? He kills people. Now I don't like him even more. And now I'm convinced every night when I go to sleep, he's going to show up and stab me in the back. Right? So I can't sleep with my back to the door. I got to sleep facing the door because Chucky's going to show up and stab me in the back. Right? And this is gonna happen. This is real and this is gonna happen. Alright? And, and, th and this- and this- and, and I was so genuinely terrified. Genuinely terrified. Like, you know how Wendy Williams is with the killer? That was me with Chucky. Right? I was so genuinely terrified. And, and this is where I'm gonna talk about how, like, a actually insane I was for a period, right? I, like, like in this is, like, genuinely, like, master- uh, I was, like, delusional. Right? I, I like- I've never spoke. I've never spoken about this, but fuck it. No, not this. This one element. This one element that I'm about to tell. I've genuinely never spoken about before, right? I. This is genuinely true. Let me put on some music for this. Right. Not only was I afraid of Chucky, and I genuinely thought he could kill me. I was like so afraid. I couldn't. I like. I would get so scared if I like saw him. And this went. And this. And this carried on until I was like set sixteen. Like. Like. I'm talking like. 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 Recent, like I, I, like almost up until the point I started streaming. Like I, you know, I started streaming at seventeen. Right, I, I, like, I, it, it scared me that badly. I couldn't even say his name. I could, I couldn't say the word Chucky. The fact that I've said it this many times is crazy to me. Right, I used to be so, so afraid. And I, I, if I would, this is how bad it was. I could scroll through my phone. Right, like I'd be, I'd be on my phone just scrolling, just scrolling through shit. I don't know. Sixteen, bro. It was like, it was like actually, it was like actually. No, bro was shot. No, I wasn't scared of other things, but I had this weird like like, irrationally intense fear. I obviously, by the time I was 16, didn't think he was real and coming to kill me. But I would get, like, genuine, like, I'd get, like, a like a panicked response if I saw him. It was so weird, right? I was, like, actually unironically traumatized. Jack Chucky's there. Fuck you guys. So I'm, like, I'm, like, I would scroll through my phone, right? On, like, social media, like, say I'm scrolling through, like, Facebook or some shit. I don't know, Google Plus. Google Plus. I'm, just, I'm scrolling through Google Plus, right? And I'm scrolling, and it, I'd be like, 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 just mega fast scrolling. And if I scrolled super, super fast, but Chucky showed up, I'd get this immediate sinking feeling. I wouldn't have even have, like, it, like consciously acknowledged it because I was scrolling so fast through the pictures, right? And I'd be like, what the fuck? And I get this awful sinking feeling. So I'd scroll back up, and there'd be a picture of Chucky. That's how bad it was. That's how terrible it was. I remember once we did a unit in school. We did a unit. I remember how anxious I was for like weeks. We did a unit in school in year eight. Year eight. I'm well. How old am I in year? Eight? I'm like twelve, right? I was so genuinely, this is true, genuinely afraid. We were doing this horror unit in school. We had to like, we had to like re research horror and stuff. And I was so scared to do the project because I knew, I just knew that someone in their presentation would use a picture of Chucky. And when we were all presenting, I was sat there anxious as fuck because I knew a picture of Chucky would appear. And it happened. And I was right as well. All right. It got so bad. 
And this is where you're all going to think I'm actually insane. This is how bad it was. Can I even say it? This is how insane. This is like, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to say it because this is so bad. This is so bad. But I, I will tell you because this is terrible. I, I once... I had a, I had a, I had a period of poor mental health when I was like 11 years old. I got super, super anxious and depressed and I'm not afraid to like talk about it. Like I, that, it, it, it was like six months and then I was fine, but I was like, you know, like I was in a bad way for like six months, right? And at some point I was just so anxious and I was like so irrationally anxious about things that could not possibly exist, right? That I genuinely looked at myself in the mirror and was convinced for a for like a couple hours. I wasn't staring at myself in the mirror for a couple hours, but I kept checking. I got so, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I was so genuinely convinced that I myself was turning into Chucky. This is genuinely true. I, in the mirror, was looking at myself like I'm looking, I, I'm starting, that, what, what, what sort of insane? Why well, I, I don't, I, but like I was actually fearful. That's so insane. I have no idea what on earth. Yeah, of course you're allowed to laugh. That's insane. That's such an, I, and I did, I, I knew it was insane at the time. And like, I would always, like, I always talk to my mum about anything I was worried about. And I never told anyone that because I was so genuinely, I was like, even in my head, I'm like, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. What the fuck does that mean? How would I, how would I become this fucking creepy doll? But like, I was like, I got, so how did you move past it? Crazy, because you think I needed therapy, but I managed to fix myself, and I'll tell you how. Because I think this is crazy. So, this is how I genuinely fix myself, and like, nowadays, it like, there's like, there's like a little bit, there's like a little bit, like, if I see him, I go like, ugh. Like, I think he's like, weird, and it makes me uncomfortable, but like, not in a very visceral way like it used to. It's like, it's like, I'd rather not look at a pile of shit. I'd rather not look at Chucky. That's kind of how it, it is this day, but I can look at shit if I need to. You know, like, it, it, that's how I kind of, that's, that's my current emotional state with it. But, um... Like, like, that, 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 it's insane listening to this. This is insane. But genuinely, the, the way, the way, the way I got over it, right? This is the way I got over it. Okay. He's been haunted by Chucky for like 20 years. It's actually true. But I got over it. I got... <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't have told this story because I just keep looking at chat and going, that's actually insane, you're mental. <laughs> but uh, like, I, I, I admit that, but I, eventually I got over it and I'll tell you how. I got over it because I'm a huge fan of Mark Hamill, right? Like Mark Hamill, the guy who acted Luke Skywalker, he was the, he's the best voice for the Joker. Uh, the best Joker voice acting is done by Mark Hamill. He's, I think he's a great voice actor, an incredible actor, and just an all-round good person, right? I, I think Mark Hamill's the GOAT, right? Mark Hamill's the GOAT, right? And what happened was, in like 2016... No, so I'm, I was only... I got over it when I was 14, right? Because the movie... Wait, actually, I can Google it. I know the year I got it. Uh... Chucky reboot. When was the reboot? 2019. Oh my god, no, I was eight. I was 17. <laughs> I was 16 or 17. <laughs> when did the movie when did the movie come out? It came out in 2019. Hold on. That's embarrassing. <laughs> 2019. Okay, I was I was 16. I was 16 when the movie dropped. I wasn't 17. No, the, it dropped in July. I was 17 in the August. I was 16. I was 16 years of age. All right? I was 16. I was 16. I'm 21 now, so I so it's been five years, all right? At your big age. It was trauma! I was like actually traumatized. Right? I was I was 16, right? I was 16 years of age. And bear in mind, it was like while they were advertising the movie, I figured this out. So it wasn't even when the movie released. So it was, it, I was 16. Uh they were they were re-releasing Chucky, right? As like a movie. Like, uh, you know, and I was like, I was like, oh shit. I heard about it. I was like, shit. It's gonna be Chucky shit everywhere. It's gonna be posters and adverts, and it's gonna make me anxious. And I, I, I was pissed. I was quite upset. And then I learned that Chucky was being voiced in the reboot by Mark Hamill, and it was like my brain rewired. I was just like, I got me scared of Mark Hamill. 
Mark Hamill's Mark Hamill. He's the GOAT. And all of a sudden, I like, it like won me over. Like I was like, oh, cool. And then I, and then I, and then I completely like, my, I, I was fixed. And like literally from that day, I realized it was Mark Hamill. I, I cannot explain to you how this such extreme irrational fear was completely rewired. And I was like, I don't care no more. And I stopped caring. And that, that, that's it. And that was it. And it, it just fixed it. Like, like my, like, it was like, a, like a link in my brain. It's like, and I was like, oh, cool. Mark, ha so Mark Hamill, if, if I ever meet Mark Hamill, he actually healed my deepest fear. Like my actually, actually most irrational, deepest fear has been removed because like Mark, because it's Mark Hamill and like, it's not real. And Mark Hamill voices it and Mark Hamill's cool. And like, I always knew it wasn't real, but like, like to have that, like it was Mark Hamill. So there you are. Next time someone says, you saved me, just think, Mark Hamill saved me. You're gonna talk his ears off like this too? Bang that guy. Jack the tall, bang that guy. I'm allowed to, yeah, I'm allowed to waffle and yap on my stream as much as I want. And you know what? Just because now you've pissed me off, guess what time it is? Guess what time it is, buddy boy? It's the top of the hour ad. No, that's that's how right. I was too. At no point did I think FNAF was real, but I was so anxious and delusional. Exactly! To this day, I know my mental health is getting bad cause I get FNAF stress and M18. I got over it cause my dad died and that was worse LMAOO. Don't put Brev in chat. Don't put Brev. Like your fucking Castillo. Don't put father. I'm sorry to hear that. I apologize. That was just that. You know when my, the solution to my trauma was, was, uh, you know, like a cool thing, like me realizing, hi, hey, I actually like something to do with the thing I'm afraid of. Wait, I can't be afraid of a thing I like. Uh, yours was, was a slightly less upbeat. That was, I, it just was a twist I wasn't expecting. No, I'm not playing the game. I just remember. Adverts! Um, we're gonna move on. Uh, the top of the hour ad, isn't it great? Yes, I ask that every Jet Manifold viewer supports the stream in some way, shape, or form. And at the end of the day, I realize not everyone has money to do so. So I ask instead of your money for a minute of your time. See, I am going to run a minute long ad in just a second. And you can watch it. Do not turn the stream off. Do not go anywhere. Please just leave the stream open. The backrooms content. I know we've been away for the backrooms for like 15 minutes now because I was telling my story, but I figured it was an interesting one. Um, the, I don't even know how I got onto it. Um, but the the t backrooms content will resume the second the ad's over. So do keep the stream open. But if you don't like the ads, if you hate ads, like Miles the first, la Miles last the first. So that's confusing. And you would like to avoid the ad, then you can do what Miles did and subscribe for the reduced price, twenty five percent off during September. You get th this is the lowest price you will ever play to skip the ads for the next. 30 As my days. mom says. Irrational problems require irrational solutions. Exactly. Your mother is based and I'm her favorite streamer. Um, Jack, restock the drink water thing so we make you drink water. I should do that. Um, but yes, you know, at the end of the day, you can sub. Lowest price you'll ever play. Except, of course, if you have a Prime, which I encourage everyone because I forget all the time. I forget I have a Prime all the time. I think I've used it and then I haven't. Click subscribe right now. See if the Prime option is available. <laughs> My dad said you're a gimp. Tell him he's a dickhead. And then slap him on his bald head. I bet he's bald. Anyway. Um, um, yeah, it's Prime. Just check you have a Prime. He's pissed At me off. Their dad's pissed me off. Thank you for the tier one. Saber, thank you for the tier one as well. Either way, people forget their Primes all the time. Just check you don't have one. I always forget to use it. Either way, the ad's running now. I'm going to go get water in the meantime. I'll see you all in uh, just one minute. Take care. Hopefully Chucky isn't working at the fridge. That's my uh, that's my goal. Where's my phone? Well, guess we'll never know. No, it's here. All right, I'm just gonna go get a water. I will be back.
Welcome back from the ads. Sorry, my mum called me to see if I still had my wallet because my mum. No, Chucky isn't here. Chucky isn't here. He didn't get me. He didn't get me. He didn't get me. Chucky didn't get me when I was going to the thing. It was just my mum. My mum got me, not Chucky. Chucky didn't get me. He didn't get me. He didn't get me. Genuine question. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. I promise. I promise he didn't get me. Can I be for real? It's still kind of, um, it's still kind of like, it doesn't scare me anymore, but I get like pissed off. Can you believe? I, I can't believe I've told you guys because I'm giving you a bit of power over me here, but I I I'm trusting you guys with it. I, I get like a little bit pissed off when I hear it, right? It's like the other, this is this TikToker I love. You guys probably familiar called Dylan, right? Dylan, you guys know Dylan from TikTok? You know, they're, they're all Northern and shit, right? And, um, Dylan the other day is like, I'm gonna dye my hair ginger, like Chucky. And I'm like, oh, you want to mention, why, why, why? You didn't have to mention him. He's a dickhead. He's like, it's, it's like, it's like hearing your op's name. Your biggest op's name. I just get pissed off. Like, I don't get scared anymore. I just get mad. So I'm just like, oh, why? Why? You didn't have to mention him. <laughs> why do you look like Christopher Eccleston? With less ear. Which I've got quite big ears, so I mean that's I'm that's. I'm gonna change my Twitch username. Can you? But with a worse nose and worse jawline, check? I've got a fucking if sick jawline and nose. Well, actually, the nose is a bit fucked, but the, my jawline's sick. So yeah, I'm just gonna Google who Christopher Allen. Christopher. Christopher. Eccleston. Oh, that I do look like Christopher Eccleston. You're like Ian Gravy, but with streaming and not making music because of how many moms like you. Yeah, I, I pretty much. I really hoped I'd be the one to collaborate with Young Gravy, but someone someone stole that idea. But now it's also, also tainted it. Um, that's Christopher Eccleston, by the way. Um, I mean, I see. It. I do actually have less ears, funnily. But he has he has a, he has he actually might have stronger stronger facial structure. Like he's, he's got like the, the powerful brow and the cheekbones and the jaw in a way that like even I, uh, even I can't rival that. That's powerful. So fair enough. All right, let's uh let's carry on playing the backrooms game, shall we? I really did stall for quite a while. He is older though. That is true. That might happen with that might happen um to me with age. Lord Beefton Raider. Thank you, Lord Beefton. Well, there's a drop here, that's fun. This is now a cutscene. Is that it? Oh, no, okay, the camera just cut. I guess he couldn't figure out how to animate that bit. That's all right. Oh, finally, the pool rooms. My mum also... No, I said I wasn't going to correct you because my mum was really laughing about it, but I will. Uh, my dad did not take me to that swimming club that I found on Google that I looked at and was convinced was the right one was absolutely not the right one. He took us to South Forest swimming baths. Whatever I told you was just absolutely wrong. <laughs> my mum thought, uh, thought I should also tell you guys that because, uh, yeah, apparently I was just completely wrong. So you do lie there. Not on purpose. I never lie on purpose. I'm just, I've got a very bad memory and I can convince myself of things. Very, I was just as convinced as you. You know, like I was convinced I was telling the truth, but I, I apparently was lying. Bro, was a fib, but not an intentional one though. Also, thank you for nearly 50 subs today. You might be on the sex number by the end. Oh, we're not in the pool rooms. We're in the mall rooms. Which is quite cool, really. Is this a game or a video? That's what I mean! It's a game, though. Is your mum watching the stream? Uh, my dad always watches my streams. He sat. He, my dad. Well, my my mum and dad always sit and watch TV at the end of uh, at the end of a day. But my dad, uh, I bought him. Uh, he, he puts his little headphones in. and He sits and watches my streams on his phone every single time, every single stream ever. My dad never misses a stream, which is very cool. I respect it a lot. Oh, there's a light. Never mind. Didn't need that. Okay. What's this? 
New York City subway map. Great okay. Parents. I I know. I really like them. Oh my god, wait, the subway rooms? Yeah, I'll get a foot long. Five dollar foot long? What great value! Ten dollar foot long? Not so great value. Am I just on the New York subway now? <laughs> I tell you what, they don't have as creative names as the London ones, do they? Main line, red line, express line, bend line, because there's a bend in it. So I probably should be looking. How did the train get in there? Oh no, oh my god, yeah, it's like, oh my god, it's like the, the Wilbur limbo from Dream SMP, holy shit. I'm there. Oh. Okay. Got on the Jubilee line, mate. I got on the Jubilee line all the time. The Jubilee line is the main line on the tube I use, actually. Two dollar foot long. Incredible value! I love SpongeBob and Patrice. Snuffles, thank you for the tier one. That whole Chucky story reminded me I had a really interesting See, I got fear pissed of off then. One image Sorry. of Jeff the Killer, and the thing that made me not scared of it anymore was an edit of the image with some badly photoshopped sunglasses. It was just so silly I couldn't Exactly, take it like I feel like anymore. when something scares you that much, like a silly rendition of it is the way to fix it every time. Thank you for the 20 months. I, I also one night, uh, the first time I ever saw the Jeff the Killer picture, um, was awake till like four in the morning with the lights on because I was convinced he was going to come and kill me. This was also when I was in year seven. I got very insane when I was 11 years old. Uh, I, I got like insanely mental. So, um, and, and, and I mean that, like insane and me I got insanely mental. I was just so irrationally afraid of so many weird things. Uh, Jeff the Killer was one of them, but like to a, to a very intense degree. But now you're funny, so it worked out. Yeah, pretty much. I know I can tell stories about it and laugh because I'm like an adult man, you know? Which is weird to say, I am an adult man. Like, I'm 21, like I'm an adult man now. Like not even like like an 18 year old, which is like an adult, but like yeah, you're still a teenager. Like I'm a full blown adult now. I can I can drink in the United States, I can gamble, I can rent a car. I mean, I, I mean that's that's just, there's a lot to that. There's a lot to unpiece. I, I, I don't know if I, oh my God, that's interesting. I wanna look this way really quick, but then I wanna go over there. Slenderman scared me as a kid loudly crying. Ooh, music. I was never scared of Slenderman particularly. I actually really liked Slenderman. I used to love. I had um, an app version of the game. I used to play all the time. My mum used to be like, "Don't play that because you'll get scared." It's so crazy how much I love horror now because I was such a wuss as a kid. Like I was just so afraid of everything. But uh, nowadays, I, I really like horror. It's very weird. Yeah, I was terrified of everything as a kid. Where the fuck am I? I love the line names, but I hate getting on the Bakerloo line. Last time I was on it, it was so full I was pressed against the side of the tube. The Bakerloo? Usually Bakerloo's pretty clear. I, I, I get that with, like, Jubilee. Lizzie line, by the way, who's been on the Lizzie? Hands up who's been on the Lizzie line. The Lizzie line's great. I love that part of... You know, I just love TFL. I, I thought about it. I just love transport for London. Other cities should have just as good transport. I want to look. This room actually looks bigger than the other one. I'm like, I kind of don't know if I want to explore this one first. The Lizzie line's great. For the tube, anyway. I mean, it's not great. It's about as good as a Thameslink train, which is like. I, did I tell you? I have to rank everything I enjoy in my life into tier lists and, and like give them scores and shit. Like how I have a letterbox and then I have untapped for beer and I have a vino for wine. I have to rank everything. I'm like. I, I probably have autism, but like beyond that, um, I someone say the glizzy line, ban that guy. <laughs> Don't really. Hey Jack, but, um, I asked Tommy a question and he said it was stupid. So I'd like to ask you, out of all the plushies in the world, which one should I get? I was not on sale. I was gonna say Jack Manifold Duck U 2s plushie, but it's not on sale anymore. Fuck it, get on resale. Fuck is that? That freaked me out. It's just a bench, though. I oh, know it's a couple of stools. 
I don't really have autism, by the way. I think I just have... Who doesn't probably have autism, lol? Me, I think I just have ADHD. But there's there's a lot of crossover traits as they're both, like, ASD. Diagnoses. Stool rooms? That would just be the toilet, dude. That's where you drop your stool. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did he do that? He, like... The fuck? Whoa! Are you awake? Are you gonna move? I, I wanna go back to where I was. So I want to go into that turny, twisty room. If he walks, I'm shitting myself. Well, I was. That was why I, I asked. I'm very worried about him. Not for his sake, for mine. He, oh. There's been no scares in this game yet, and that's what's off-putting. I have dyslexia, so I kind of get it because it also have crossover traits. Fair enough. I didn't know that. I don't think. Thanks for speaking about your fear of Chucky. Reminds me of the fact I have a massive fear of Poe from Kung Fu what? Panda. What? I still to this day cannot watch Kung Fu Panda after having a nightmare that he multiplied and killed all my friends and family. That's not cool of him. Ooh! That's freaky. Poe is wild though. Like, at least Chucky was meant to scare people, bro. That's crazy. But, like, also, I, I can't judge. I literally had this irrational fear that I was turning into him. Oh, my God, he's gone. He's, like, actually... Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, he, he moved again, and he's not there anymore. What the fuck? What? Wait, I... This isn't where I came in. Uh, what? This isn't where... He follows you around since the start? Wait, what? He does? I thought I was just running into them. Where the fuck did I come from? I had a phase like yours with Chucky, only with the weeping angles from Doctor Who. Could Reason not sleep oh, yeah. for weeks. I feel that's quite reasonable. I feel that's quite reasonable. I didn't like the uh, the little gas mask kids from Doctor Who, where they'd ask Autism if you were their and mummy. ADHD are actually not that similar when you get into it. Oh, of course not. That's why they're different similar things. Similar seeming presentations are caused by different internal processes. Yes. No, I completely understand. But I, I, I'm talking about the outward sort of effects and the fact that they're both on the ASD spectrum. I realize they are very different. I want to come back here, but I want to go explore that weird topsy-turvy room in a minute. A w irrational fear of Willy Winky? What? Who is Willy Winky? That's just two words for penis. That, am I wrong? That's just two words for, like, a, a dick. Does this game have an ending? And am I approaching it? The sausage guy? What are we talking- Who is Willy Winky? No, 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 she doesn't Willy on my Winky. We Willy Winky. Yeah, you see, like, we Willy Winky. The, the, he uh, is a bit stinky. Ba 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 binky. She's 
she winky on my will till I e. That was that was rough, mate. What about Spooky Spoon from Number Jacks? No, my brother was very scared of Spooky Spoon. I'll out him for that. He was terrified. He would shit himself at the mention of Spooky Spoon. Oh, I swear I've been in here. They are not both on Fucking the ASD hell. spectrum. ASD means autism spectrum disorder. If you're not autistic, you are not I thought on it was. I thought ADHD spectrum. fell under the ASD bracket. Maybe I'm wrong. This is the thing. Maybe I'm misinformed. I thought it was. I thought it fell. Maybe I'm silly. I am silly. More people in chat are saying it. I they they are. Di I know obviously there's a difference, but I, I I thought it fell under the autism spectrum. No, I'm. Yep, I'm just completely wrong. There we are. Well, thank you for telling me because I've been wrong this whole time. Here in the Don't know where I heard the mascot that. Is scary. Okay, so. Oh wait, so this is letters to the same place. Right, okay, I just kind of backpedaled to end up in the same place. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Wee Willy Winkies is a brand of sausages here in the UK and the mascot is scary. Okay, now I've got to do more. Wee Willy Winky. Sausages. What the fuck? The mascot isn't scary. I've seen him before, actually. Uh, uh, here he is. Sorry, for this one viewer, trigger warning, Willy Winky is about to appear on screen. He's just a boy. He's just a wee lad. He's wee Willy Winky. And that's his 20 minute skinless sausages. He's fine. He's not hurting anyone, really, is, is old Willy Winky. Why is he called Willy Winky? I don't know. He does his whole thing hey, sausages. Jack, I mean, have you seen the picture of the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz with his eye patch? I thought it was a funny coincidence that you both had one at the same time. Also, I, he made a meme contest out of his situation. He did. I didn't because I, I, I looked him up. Someone said this, and I looked him up and was like, he doesn't have an eye patch. But I guess he also just temporarily had an eye patch. Oh, he like scuffed his face up pretty bad though. I'm, I, he, he like, he's got some cuts and shit. Yeah, he did also have an eye patch I'm like me. I'm officially cancer free. W O O. Yo, congrats. That's sick. Oh, congrats. Chat, throw congrats in the chat. That's fucking sick. That's such a cool day. I had a friend um, growing up. Uh, who, who, uh, he, I didn't know him when he had cancer. I met him after. His cancer went fully into remission. Um, but I did see him. I, I, I remember he, I, uh, he, like, he like kept it really quiet. But like obviously it takes like a good few years um, of being in proper remission before they go, you're cancer free, like officially. Uh, and he, uh, oh wait, no, I've been this way. Uh, he, I remember like we, were sat, we went on a school trip and we were on the bus. And he's like, yeah, I was told I was fully cancer-free the other day. And he hadn't told anyone. I was like, oh my god, that's sick. I remember we did like a little celebration on the bus. It's a, it's a huge thing. Congrats. So, it looks like I've hit a bit of a dead end. Weirdly. I've definitely been here before. There's no other doors. I guess I'll go back towards weird, creepy man. I didn't mean to hit space. I don't know. I can turn that off. I did mean to hit space, I guess. You're a weird Don. Guess we can go this way? Oh no, we went this way. What? Jack, you spoke to my mum. She misses you. When will you talk to her again? I mean, who knows? I can't schedule anything in.
Instead of just clipping out of the back rooms, I hope this helps. Ah, thank you very much. Yes. I think we've been this way, right? Yeah, we have. And this is a dead end as well, right? Shit. How long is this game? Because I'd like to do a full playthrough. But... It seems really long. Like, if anyone's familiar, how far into it are we? Should play uh, 3008 on Roblox? It's an hour? Yeah, but we're an hour and a half in, so you've already lied. Kind of, I saw playthroughs on YouTube are about an hour long, so I figured, you know, we'd be getting towards the end now. It doesn't really... Seem like there's any end in sight. Uh, go this way, maybe? Probably an hour if you do it right. Okay. Jamie, you're just rambling every five minutes. That's why you're watching me play it and not playing it yourself. You're here for my ramblings. Because I love them. I love rambling. You just walk past an exit sign, I think. You being for real? So are you going to the Lovejoy gig? What do you mean the Lovejoy gig? Where? Look, I love Lovejoys. I love I love Joy as much as the next guy. But oh, it's my dad. Jesus Christ. Scared the life out of me. I thought it was someone whistling behind me in game. It's my dad going to the fridge. My god. Scared the life out of me. That was terrifying. I was getting ready to fucking run. Ha, is your refrigerator running? You're hilarious. You're hilarious. You know that? How long is this? This is just a big empty space. What the fuck? Can I jump down? It seems like I can, but do I die? What happened? I'm thinking of changing my Twitch username and was wondering if you had any suggestions, Jack? I don't know, something that isn't just letters, maybe. I don't really know anything about you. Just maybe something to do with, like, uh, Steve. What if I just jump down here? Chucky isn't raiding my fridge. <laughs> I should never have said it. You know, let's just see what happens. The fuck? The fuck? What's happening? Uh. Um. Um, oh, I, did I, did I break the game? Uh, I figured, I think I broke the game, I don't think you were supposed to find that bit that I found. That was just so out in the open, how would, I figured you'd just like die if you weren't supposed to go down there or, or it'd be a, how, what do I, Okay, I guess I... I don't want to save, that would... Will that save right? Okay. This is so far back! Oh my god! Good evening, Mr. Scat Manifold. It's alright, Dracula, calm down. Good evening. Fucking Count Dracula in chat. Jonathan! Wrong guy, pal. Jack Warren Benitez here going to my first ever concert. Soon what is a Lovejoy gig? Any advice? What does Jack Warren Benitez ring a bell? Is, it just, is that just actually like someone who's in chat a lot? Or is that like a, a name? No, it's... It, 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 it.
Why do I know that name? Imagine breaking a back room's walking simulator. I, uh, my fault. It's just a chatter. Fair enough, Jack Warren Benitez. Uh, in which case, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy. Any advice? Uh, get in the mosh pits, man. Have fun. Oh, Jack Warren Benitez. I remember I spoke to your mum. That was it. I knew Warren Benitez rang a bell. I spoke to Mother Benitez. That was it. See, I knew I knew there was something. My school is on strike. You better be live. I am, on account of you watching the stream. I mean, that was a silly thing to say, really, wasn't it? Right, I recognize where I am now. Oh, how do I grow my eyebrows back in nine days? You think I, what, do you think I'm the king of hair growth? I mean, clearly not. I don't fucking know. You know that name because you spoke to me, Warren Benitez, is me. You spoke to my mum because I haven't got the buzz yet, and I got a girlfriend because of the manifold advice. Oh, I'm glad you got a girlfriend, at least. Glad I smashed that one out of the park. Discord Riz over here. This guy's mum laughed at him for his Discord Riz. I thought that was pretty good. But congrats on the girlfriend. Now you don't have to riz up. Now you don't have to drop skibbidi riz, skibbidi riz on Discord. <laughs> wow, bro, that's a level 10 skibbidi guy at. Oh, that's interesting. He's not there. Huh. Oh, now he's there. Weird. Did you get anything good in Asda with your mum the other day? Oh yeah, I forgot I was. I I I, I, I forgot I was on. I I answered Max's call on on stream when uh when I was in Asda with my mum and I went. I'm in Asda with my mum. What do you want? But um, can I do a fan art of you? Absolutely. You're weird, bruv. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna catch you. Hmm. Okay, we go this way. Becky Peters, thank you for I the love uh, this stream. one quid. I have COVID and this has been a nice distraction. Oh, well, I'm glad. Thank you, streamer. Is this the way I got in? I honestly am so lost. I'm lost in the back rooms. No. I think this is the way I came in, actually, is it? Yeah, it is. Shit. Jack, I have a question. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because it wanted to? Anyway, what's your opinions on orangutans? Did you say, er, glad someone HS COVID? How very rude. Not like that. I mean, I'm glad the stream was a distraction. I'm glad they had COVID. Just some fucker in chat coming up with situations. Chucky morphed into your parents. Better go check. I'm not as like I'm not insane anymore. Like I won't believe these things. Like I'm not like like you know I'm not like fucking me like I used to be like fucking like actually like a bit mental in a way that I'm not now. Let's go this way this time. Not been this way yet. I need the hundred bits. Well, you are a funny guy, so I thought you'd have a funny suggestion yeah, for a username. Dick, Dick Balson. Dick, Dick and Ball, Balls. 
Huh. Hello Jack Manifold, I have just awoken from my slumber to view this Jack Manifold stream smiley face. Well, I appreciate you doing I it. I hope you are well back rooms, boy. I'm, I'm alright as far as it goes, really. Yeah. I've explored like this whole fucking area. Like the whole area I've explored. I'm sprinting now because I just I want to find something. Okay. It appears there's something over this way. I don't know what it is though, and it might run at me and I'm a bit scared. Xavier, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. <laughs> oh, okay, progress, thank fuck. What is it? What is this, by the way? This, this is the creepy rooms. I don't know what to call this. Oh, this is. No, uh, uh, never mind, this wasn't progress. I guess I'm just not supposed to explore this way. Why wouldn't you, like, wall this off, then? That's weird game design. That breaks my immersion. This looks like a video, and all of a sudden now it doesn't look like a video because there's a void and also a... I don't know why I said that, like John Mulaney. John Mulaney. That's my, my impression of John Mulaney saying, John Mulaney. That's how he'd say it. Is there anything this way? Every time I speak to you, what is now twice all our chat thing, I am Mr. Soot IDKY. I don't think that if that makes you feel better. Is, am I making progress? Am I just like a get? Am I just in the void bit again? Yeah, this is just... I'm so confused. I changed it. Oh, I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go. Wait, hold on. No. Um... Dick Borson. Oh my god, you're actually Dick Borson now. When is now. Neck Talk stream Mr. Manifold? We need to talk a vein. I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't pressure me. I'll come up with it. Now I've got to go all the way back. Well done, Dick Bolson. I'm proud of you, Dick Bolson. Common Dick Bolson W. I got to the back of the back rooms. Can you believe? Anything for the manifold grind. Thank you, Dick Bolson. You're doing me proud. I request you don't do it on the 29th because I am at Lovejoy. Well, I'm in Spain, so I probably probably won't. But who knows? I will be streaming a little bit when I'm in. Basically. As of Saturday will be the last guaranteed Jack Manifold stream until August the 5th. 
as the last guaranteed Jack Manifold stream till August 5th. Saturday. So bear that in mind. There will probably be more streams, but it's the last guaranteed one. August? Ah, shit! October, October, October. October, October. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. AG ah, I hate myself. I'm stupid. I'm just stupid. Don't worry. I'm stupid. No, no, no. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm, uh, October. Oh, I've not been in here yet. It took me all this time to find this. Seriously. Now I feel like a dumbass. Now I'm immersed again. It's really broke my immersion finding those back, like the, the outside bit. Yeah, sorry, October. So the, 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 I'm gonna do a stream on Saturday night, a little bit earlier than usual, probably like 8 p.m. And then that'll be the last time I will definitely be live until October 5th. But uh, I plan on uh, being live in between I is my my plan is that like I hope that I will be live like between those dates but I just can't guarantee it because I'm on holiday in Spain with my parents and my brother and I'm, I, I do want to give myself a little bit of a break but I, I also do want to stream a little bit but there will be a main channel video coming out um, not what long are you after streaming I go on Saturday uh, I might do another ranking your favorite songs but what do you guys want to see I mean give uh, here's, here's your time to g give me a request you know let me know what you want to see, really. Jack learned the phrase on account of and has been running with it ever since. You know why I say on account of so much? Uh, Norm MacDonald. Uh, Norm MacDonald's one of my favorite comedians ever. Uh, and he, he'd be like, I don't really like that on account of it's bad. And I, it's, it's like a weird way to speak. It doesn't quite make sense. Uh, and I find that very funny. So I, I just kind of been running with it ever since. That, that's the honest to god truth. They'd be like, Mrah. I don't think you should kill people on account of it's bad. And I'd be like, yep. Another one of these. Cool, progress. Thank fuck, we've just not made progress in ages. I apologize for what has been a walking simulator for the past two hours nearly. Rating Halloween costumes? Surely I'll do that in ha like around Halloween. Cafeteria reception? You tell me that's the cafeteria and that's the reception? Or this is the reception to go into the ca cafeteria? That'd be a weird system though. What's this? No parking? I won't. I'll get moving. Pebbles, think of the quid. Joy on Saturday. So what you're saying is you hate me, smiley face. No, I don't hate you, Pebbles100 underscore. I simply can't stream tomorrow because I'm going to see friends. And Saturday is the last day before I go away because I leave on Do you Sunday. you submit a song or just put it in chat on Saturday? Uh, no, you have to submit one. I'll post the form to do it tomorrow if I do the... Um... No, I won't post it tomorrow. I'll post it on Saturday. Uh, but you can, you can submit it into the form while I'm live. I have a Stop. conundrum. Yes. There's a spider in my room, so I'm no! sleep in I the hate spare those. room. But there was another one in there, so I slept in my living room. But there was another one there, so now I have been sleeping in my car for a week. Help, what do I do? You must kill the spiders. Go to war. Take insecticide and a swatter. You know what to do. I, I don't like spiders as much as the next guy. I opened my one. My windows were kind of stuck because Brighton windows are shit. And I opened one for the first time after almost a year of living in my house. I opened it and a spider was like hiding underneath the window. So I grabbed my insect spray and I went Tss! and I sprayed it so much until it was like a white blob covered in insect spray and it died. And I felt a little bit bad because that was maybe unnecessary, but you shouldn't be a spider in my house. You will die. I heard that poem, The Crime of Being Small, and I felt a little bit bad about how often I kill spiders, but I thought, no, because they're intruders and they, they're not welcome. And I've made that clear. Okay. Jack, Ooh. I'm currently at the hospital waiting for my twin room. brothers to be born, but you know you gotta keep up with a stream. Hell yeah, you do! Bring him into the world with something good! Big spider in your room right now? Yeah, and there's a big fucking melon in yours, mate. Be quiet. I 
I hate spiders as much as you hate Chucky. No, I, 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 I now my biggest fear is probably spiders. I don't like them. Am I now back in that corridor? This is like a real. I love the design of this room. This is like the most real liminal space. I've been in spaces like Jack, this in like I think American you are hotels. The Burger King. <laughs> Did you get a whopper? I think I am. This is such a good red. That is a good red. You make. You know what? Yes, you're absolutely right. That is a good red. Martin Holland, thank you for the quiz. Going to bed shortly, so have a good rest of stream and That's enjoy right, your Martin. holiday. I will, thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Hope Holland's treating you well. Did you get a Big Mac? <laughs> That'll be all. The red is ending. That's a shame. I mean, you look at the red. Oh, wait, no, more red! Oh, yeah. Red walls. Oh, this is like an Ikea bit. But the walls are red instead of like Ikea colours. But that's alright. Oh, they're yellow and red. Kind of like a McDonald's. And that says... Ficklian. Which I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. Please pay here. It says pristine. Oh, are these bookshelves? Is this a library? Is that fiction? I'll just put that together. <laughs> they just didn't cross the T. They put a dot above it. That's confusing. That's not how a T works. You know? That's, they, that's their fault for doing the words wrong, really. All right. Hmm. Prisline sounds like a... No, that says pristine. There's a cross on the T. Warren, thank you for the 100 bits. One, two, one, two, three, four. Any more words? I think you've spoken enough because the pubs are empty and they're closing up when you're spitting spite as fast as saliva, but with this the is just of love a standard lyrics. English drunk. She says... I hope the salt water ruins your clothes, and I hope... Yeah, that was enough of that. I don't like... I, I mean, I, I do like Lovejoy. I like Lovejoy as much as the next guy, but I don't like just... You know, they're better when it's sung, and it's not just a text-to-speech going, hmm, yes, I'll read this in a really monotone voice. I feel like something's gonna... St I, thought, I thought I was gonna just gonna see a pair of feet appear there. That would have been a cool scare. They should have done that. They're really going low on the scares here. You're spitting spite as fast as saliva. You hoped to see feet. Well, not, not in... Oh, you guys. You just love twisting my words, don't you? And making me out to be some kind of creep and some kind of fucking weirdo. I'm a creep! I'm a weirdo! That's what you guys want, want me to be in it. That's what you guys want me to say. Sink room. Nice. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? For me to be a creep and like a weirdo and like a strange guy. Maybe I'll follow the music. Yeah, we've definitely not been here yet. Jack, my TV just turned off and it scared me anyway. I'm this so is my sorry. last 100 bits, so it was nice chatting. Have a good night and holiday right. love or content. Thank I hope you very we much. can't TLK again soon. Bye, less than three. That's all right. Wait, I've been here. Oh, we had been here. I'm a liar. Shit. You can't sprint up still. Oh my god. But yes, no, thank you, Warren. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here, man. So where do I go? 
You lied again. Not on purpose! I've never once intentionally fibbed ever in my life, and you are wrong for accusing me of having done so. Tell you what. A lot of walking in this game. It, it's visually stunning, and I really do like it, but a lot of walking. You go to the pub? Not now. The bedtime soon. I won't be going to pub now, mate. Just put in chat Manny Fetish. Don't do that. Don't do things like that, actually. It's the library bit? Yeah, it is. Not on. Exactly. I agree. Just got a text. <laughs> Inviting me to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going. I, for, for a start, I'm in Mansfield, and, and the person who invited me is in Brighton. So uh, I don't. I don't think they're aware, but I, I can't go even if I wanted to. Hi, Jack. I've been having a kind of hard day, but your stream no. really makes me smile. I, why did I do that sarcastic? I'm actually an asshole. I'm really sorry. I apologize. My brain, my brain went into autopilot, and I just went, "No, that was so rude." I have no idea why that happened. I actually apologize. I am genuinely sorry. You've had a shit day. Can you imagine you've had a shit day, and, and you go on a stream, you're like, "Hey, thank you for streaming," and I go, "No, what? I don't know why that happened." I don't know why I actually apologize. I like genuinely just that just slipped out. I feel like a dickhead. I'm so sorry. I hope you. I, I hope. I, I'm glad the streams cheered you up though. <laughs> sorry, I'm a dickhead. That was really rude. Oh. God. I mean. This is good. This game is good. It is like one of the videos and I love it. But like also, I wish, I just wish a little more was happening. I'm getting to be slightly bored. Oh. Is that like a hose or something? Wait, is that not what I showed up in? Wait, no, I don't think it is. I don't remember this room. Okay, let's get in the elevator then, I guess. Jack, I just realized I bought the bits on my mom's credit card instead of mine by accident, so I spent 10 quid on bits on my mom's card. She is going till end me anyway. Remember to replace you smoke alarm batteries chat and Jack, take me gome country road. <laughs> take me gome. Take me gome. I love a good gome. I don't know what gome is. I shouldn't say that in case it's a bad thing. Oh, the pool rooms! Wait, the pool rooms. Swimming pool closed. I don't care, bro. What are you gonna do? Stop me swimming? I've been in plenty of closed pools. I used to go skinny dipping in the closed pools when I was on holiday. Growing up. I used to go to the ocean late at night. I used to think the water looked like tar. I used to think that was fascinating. Yeah, I know it's the tile room so far, but it's gonna it's gonna look now it's the pool rooms. Cause there's gonna be water in a second. See, look at that. Oh, and it's that fucking crystal blue water. Oh, that's beautiful. I love when water's that color. That's that beautiful color of water. That's that color that makes me feel good. Oh, and there's sound. Oh, and the sound design. This is actually my favorite color. I love this color. It so looks like re like the the way light reacts on the tiles and shit is incredible. It like and it doesn't use ray tracing, I don't think, which is crazy for how realistic everything looks. 
It's just weird. Like, you know what? Sometimes when I come around corners, I'm like, it freaks me out a bit. Like, I'm very immersed in it. Because it looks so fucking real. That... This doesn't look liminal at all. Hi, this Jack, looks stunning. I just wanted to tell you that I e e e e e e a a a a a a wee woo wee woo a a a a among us Seuss imposters. Okay, mods. Find that guy's house. This this bit looks sick though. That's ridiculous. I can't believe someone. I'm sorry, our time was wasted like that, chat. Mod sabotage is O2. <laughs> Just fucking Among Us references. Going upstairs feels like progress. The water's so shallow in like a slightly off putting way. Can I get past this? Can. What is that set of tiles? Oh, no, okay. Did I just get through? Oh no, I was like, did I just get through that section super quick? I thought that was a door at the end. Well, that water doesn't look as nice. That water looks scary. That's scary water. That isn't crystal nice and blue water. That's scary water. Skilly blue. But like, if blue is. That's this. I'm in that scary water section now, mate. That ain't right. I feel like there's got to be a purpose to the sprint key. There's got to be something that chases us eventually. Jack, please help. I shaved all of my eyebrows off, and now I don't know what to do. Should I glue spiders to where they used Why to Why would you glue spiders there? That's silly. You can glue the old hair, maybe. Or maybe, like, just pencil them on. Some people do shave off their eyebrows. Sometimes it's a look. Maybe it suits you. I, I just chill out, man. Uh, there, that's my advice. Chill out, spider brows. Liminality, thank you for the year. Two months. We're in the back rooms. The back rooms. Like the hit game, back rooms. Yes. Um. God, I'm so lost. Put fake lashes on your eyebrow. That's re Don't. What do you mean, put fake lashes where your eyebrows should be? Unless you mean the ones where you literally put them on individually, like each lash, then that might look okay, but... Ooh, big pool room. See, I actually like these really liminal pool rooms. These feel calming. Like, a big liminal body of water, like, doesn't feel creepy. That, that feels, like, calming. Like, I could just float in there by myself and nothing would be awry. But it's because I can see natural light. And when I look over to that creepy dark doorway over there, then that makes it a bit creepy. But when I look up and I see the skylight, I'm like, oh, that's lovely. Cute date idea. We go to the liminal pools. It's like a normal pool. I mean, a little bit. I think pools just are low-key. But like, there's, like, skylight. Like, when I see natural light, I'm not afraid anymore. I don't think I can ever feel afraid in a space with natural light like that. Uh, I don't have to say your name at all, but thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. I have to go get ready to hoe to Melbourne now, but I- The hoe in Melbourne? By Sparkling Heart. Hey, uh, they're gonna have very- they're gonna have tilled soil when you're done. Thank you for the, uh, quid. I appreciate it. What if the killer is in the space with the natural light? That will never happen. The killer only inhabits dark spaces. Oh, another elevator. Cool. We got through this floor really quick compared to the others. Fun fact, the natural light isn't natural. Well, no, I figured it's the back rooms. It won't be, but, like, it looks it, and that's all that really matters. As long as it looks like natural light, then I'll be all right. Mm. <laughs> what if you're swimming in the pool rooms, then Chucky pulls you down? He's, like, two inches tall. Did I'll just I hear throw him really hard. I'll slap him against a wall like the You're Miley Cyrus to milk pillow. Use the spiders from my house if you can get rid of them for me. See, look, look at the manifold of collaboration here. That's incredible. Exit. <gasps> Are we done now? Do we leave? Is this the way out? No smoking. I won't if it means I get to leave.
I feel like something's gonna get me in this section, or at least try. There's been no jump scares, and this feels like the end. I feel like... Oh, bl the blue rooms! Oh, and also the green rooms. Green rooms is what you have when you're like an actor before you go on stage. You go in your green room. Oh, the star rooms! That's freaked me out a bit. I won't lie. Jack Manafoot fetish. I don't have that. Don't say that ever. It's so weird how like real this looks. Like it looks like real VHS footage. In a way that really freaks me out. Carnival Ghost Train. Oh, is it gonna get scary in here? Pick the right path. No, I'm a leftist. I'm a liberal. I'm a liberal. The, the, this is what the chat wants. Donald Trump would be down the other path. Hello? Jack, do you hear me? I'm in the back rooms. The very evil back rooms. Please, you gotta come down the right path and help me. I need it. I need your support, I really do. No, Donald, I won't be doing that. Donald, I won't be doing- Wait, hold on, I hear another voice. Jack, it's me. Ice cream man, it's Biden. Uh... Uh... What are we doing here? Joe Biden? I've got a cone of ice cream just for you, buddy. Jack, no, you gotta help me, Donald. Wait, you gotta help me, Donald Trump. I won't be helping you, Trump. You're evil. Oh, wait. They both go the... Is this a commentary on politics? No matter whether you pick the left or the right, the result is the same? It's a bad message, I think, probably. That's a reach. Hey man, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. I'm just picking I'm just picking up what they're putting down, you know. You made it about politics? I'm just saying when I see left or right and I'm given a choice, I'm always picking left cuz that's you know. Hmm. I feel like we're getting towards the end of this game. I feel like something's gonna try and kill me though. I'm scared. Lib up? I'm libbed up to the maximum. I stayed with Hassan for like a week. He libbed me up. I'm libbed now. Chucky is a freaky sod, but I just kick him into next week. What the fuck? Ooh! What? The fuck? Oh. Oh fuck, it's it's ramping up I feel like. That's the exit. I feel like something's gonna show up right as I get in the lift. I'm gonna turn around after I get in the lift. And something's gonna show up. Please close. Or like something's gonna grab the door or something. Or nothing's gonna happen and it's fine. Whew. Time for the top of the hour because I'm scared. That's reasonable. You know what? Well requested. Guys! It's the top of the second hour. It's actually slightly gone because I uh, was late in noticing it. But you know what it means. It may be the top of the second hour, but that does not mean that there is any less ads. See, people, I'm going to play a minute long uh, ad like usual. You will watch it if you do not subscribe because it's supporting me. And I ask just that you, I all I ask is that you don't close the stream. That's all I ask. That is like the bare minimum. You just don't close the stream. 
Broke his house, sorry, King. That's fine. Just leave the ad open. And then you're supporting me. I get money that way. That's how I can afford to keep doing this. Come on now. Also, subs are at a reduced cost right now. We're getting closer and closer to our 69 subs. Dick Borson, thank you for your gifted sub. Subs are 25% off only for a few more days. There's only nine days remaining to get cheap subs, so get them in now. Because at the end of the day, they last into the next month. So at the end of the day, you're going to be paying way less to skip all the ads for the next 30 days. It's pre-rolls, mid-rolls, whatever. Also, you can prime. Dick Borson, thank you for another gifted sub, by the way. But you can prime. People always forget they have primes. Check you, know, check you have it by clicking subscribe right now, seeing if the prime option is available. In the meantime, I'm going to be chatting with the subs. Dick Paulson, thank you for another gifted sub! You're a legend. I'm going to be chatting with the subs in the meantime while the ad plays. I will see you all in just a minute. To complete the game. The gameplay will resume straight afterwards, so don't worry. How are you, chat? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you all feeling? How you all doing? I'm not good, I'm doing algebra. Oh, I'm sorry, that's rough. That is rough. Jack, I beat the system? What, what do you mean? Fucking Neo? Is, what is this, the Matrix? Jack, my eyebrows help. I don't know what to do for you. I don't. I got the character I wanted in Genshin. Right. Start starting an analog horror soon. Anyone got any advice? Uh, what, like watching one or making one? Uh, that's a different thing. Balls are yes. What? It's, in it's interesting. What's your favorite front bottom song? Uh, probably Au Revoir. Welcome back from the ads. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna get straight back into the gameplay. I'm not gonna dilly or dally. The, why does the view count always increase? I feel like that's probably a Twitch glitch or something like that. The view count goes up whenever I play ads. Well, welcome if you are new. Feel free to follow. Either way. We're playing this backrooms game and I think we're about done. It feels like we're getting towards the end. We just had the villains sort of reveal themselves. Freaky floorboards. Yeah, this is a game, it isn't a video, even though it looks like one. It's very cool. What type of room is this? Slightly different carpet rooms? Oh, this is like the hotel one, right? Is that one picture from like that hotel? It's, it's like a hotel, like he, either Heathrow or Gatwick Airport. And um, I, I was like, plan I, obviously I fly from those airports a lot. And I was really planning to get go to that hotel so I could get the picture. Because th there's that one like famous backrooms picture. Um, uh, sure I can find it. Backrooms hotel, this one. This, um, this picture, uh, what does it say? Glitched out of reality, welcome to the backrooms. This backrooms picture as is, as is a hotel, uh, either Heathrow or Gatwick Airport, and I forget which one it is. Oh, I'm showing the completely wrong thing. This? This ho this picture, this famous backrooms picture, is like a real place in the UK that I, I really want to visit, because like that's fucking sick. But this, I feel like this section's based on that. Pretty sure it's Heathrow, it's one or the other. I prefer Gatwick. I, I'll always fly from Gatwick if I get the choice. But I might have to. I, I think I, I'm, I'm flying from Heathrow soon. I feel like I fly from Heathrow to go to Japan. Okay. Oh my god. The Backrooms Church. What does this say? Our record. Last week, this week. Okay. Interesting. We're in the church rooms. We're in the Jesus rooms. The God rooms. Okay. 
We're in the classrooms, it appears, or maybe the dining rooms. It could be one or the other. Not the G sus. Not like G sus is in like you know a suspicious letter G, but like almost that almost looks like Gus, like Breaking Bad. I'd love to got to Japan for the culture, the food, and the architecture. Those are all good reasons. I'm going to do. Well, actually, I don't want to spoil why I'm going. You guys will see. I'll probably do some streams from Japan. But I'm going like that's the problem. So I'm going away on holiday for a bit, and I'm going immediately j to Japan. But I am filming out there, so it's for content. And then I go to TwitchCon. We're definitely going to have m much less streams than usual for the next sort of month. But it's all right because I'll make up for it when I'm back because I might do like a subathon or something. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure about that. Worst day ever? Don't worry. No, the, the content that comes out of all these trips will be very cool. I've got all sorts of cool shit planned to fit, but it'll be mostly filmed. It'll be mostly going on the YouTube. So you need to subscribe to the Jump Manifold TV main channel. Because the stocks are up! Sub count, climbing. Money coming in, climbing. I'm just saying, it's a, it's a good time to invest. Get your subs in now if you're not already subscribed. But don't worry, I will be streaming, like, just, just slightly less. I, I, just might, I usually stream, like, five days a week. It'll probably be, like, two days. Two, three days a week. You know what I mean? Like, it'll just be reduced. I'll just be, like, I'll just be streaming, like, a little bit less. But, like, I'll still be live. It won't be like I'm gone. It, you, I'll just be... And the streams will be a lot... They'll mostly be IRL streams. I, I set up all my IRL kit today. I've got, like, a really cool IRL, like, kit now. And it, it's really stable and all that. So we can do some really cool IRL streams. So it, it, it'll all, you know... It'll pay off. Ooh. It's an interesting room. Is that blood on the floor? Or is it just like the odd red tile? It's just the odd red tile. Alright. I don't know what the fuck this room is. Well, this one's weird. The shopping rooms? There's like a trolley. Eleven people need to sub for the sex right. number. A shopping cart. That's very true, and 11 people should sub, or maybe a kind benefactor or a gifter could sort that out. I agree. Oh, this is like shopping mall music? Like grocery store jazz? Is that what this is? I'm in the mall rooms. What the fuck? Toys and fun? Lind... Linden, does that say? Lindell? Huh. Okay. Abandoned malls are cool, though. That was a, that was a cool little section. I'm gonna run now, though, because it's taking a lot of time. You can go through the gate? Okay. Oh, you can crawl under it? Oh, can you? Oh, there's a gap! I didn't see that. Yeah, you can. That looks so real. That's such an accurate scan of a fucking New Balance shoe. That's crazy. Shell's jewelry? Caretakers self-care. They should take some more care of themselves, actually. Don't even know that says BD products. Cool kids footwear. It's better than lame kids footwear, I guess. Ah! That was a scream. I realized that was a saxophone. I can make a mouth sax. I'm doing too much trill. See? Look, I, I can do mouth saxophone. This is my this is first time court. donating and definitely the not last. Hi, my favorite Z. old man. Thank you. I'm glad you're your favorite. And instead of FMC the dickhead! Because he keeps saying I'm a fake baldy. You know, he, you know what he said the other day on stream? He said that when I have sex, apparently I call out my own name. Joke's on you, buddy. I don't do those things. I bet FMC's never even had sex. He doesn't even know he doesn't even know what a vagina is. She sells seashell on the mall floor. Yup. 
And he doesn't even know what a vagina is. The beef? Yeah, we got beef. Because he said I was a fake baldy. And then he said I'd call out my own name during sex. And then he thinks he could beat me in a boxing match. I've, I've won a fight. He's never won a fight ever. And he's never even... He, and he doesn't know what a vagina is. So yeah, I win. There, someone tweet this at him. I always see people tweeting at me like, Oh, Fim, she said this about Jack. Tweet this at him. You know? Oh, I'm back in the mall. Okay. Tweet this at him. See what happens. You are the truest bald man. Yeah, I know that. Hasn't seen one since birth. He he was even he was C-sectioned out. That's how afraid he is of the vagina. He wouldn't even come. Th he wouldn't the even crawl out through it. Chasing you because you brought politics into his home. My Jack's fault. Like my old relatives at Thanksgiving. S M H bad manners, bald man. My fault. They just shouldn't have made it so political with you know having the right and left. If it could throw you into this next week, he does bouldering. I'd climb his bald head like a boulder. How about that? I'll get in the ring with Fit MC. I would as well. But he's not allowed to train. He has a massive weight advantage on me, so he can't train. That's what I've decided. I guess I'll go towards the air. Uh... He'll beat your ass. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. no, no, no. No, he wouldn't. Not even close. Not even close. It wouldn't even be close. Say boulder weirdly. What do you want me to say? Boulder? I go bouldering? How do Americans say boulder? Ba ba. A giant boulder? Boulder. They say bowl. Boulder. Say boulder. Where, where am I? This is just a walking simulator at this point, but I really want to beat it now. Is it my destiny to live and die a life of blonde fragility? I'm just kidding. Where I see love, she sees a friend. So stuck in my head, I'm sorry. Ever since yesterday, it's been stuck in my head all day. Cause you know what, Tom really accurately did that weird fighting thing that Ryan, he goes, FIGHT FOR ME! You and I really like that move, there's something satisfying about it to watch, and then Tom did it really accurately yesterday. I was like, I need to watch that music video again, cause when Ryan Gosling does that, it, 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 it does something, man. What is, what room is this? Fucking void rooms. The barbed wire rooms. They've done such a good job with like when American the textures aren't too high quality, making the camera Prove never focus wrong. on it. Americans are just British in denial, essentially. I mean, they were once just British people that moved to America at origin. Pretty much. Well, not all of them, but like, that's actually really wrong. Plenty of people from plenty of different countries have moved to America. But it, it, like the founding fathers, the majority of those were, had immigrated from Britain. So actually, I, I was just wrong. I apologize. Not all Americans are from England. That was a very, that was a very closed minded view set. Like, that, that was just wrong. Looks like the Opilla bird level. I wish I was British. No, you don't. You wish you had free healthcare. That's about it. That's a that's the that's the good part of Britain. Free healthcare is good. It's a good thing. I'm just kidding. Anywhere else I'd be a ten. You know that's what I'm thinking right now. I am a ten. I think actually. It wouldn't even take being anywhere else. Just just being right here. I think I'm a 10, actually. I've thought about that. Oh, wait, the subway. How long is this? Is this a new subway? Is this the original one? We stopped being British when your tea ended up in the harbor R-A-H-H-H-H. Uh, ah, Americans would be like, ah, we, we threw your tea in the harbor. I don't give a shit about it. I don't even like tea. Random question. 
Yeah. But since you're also British, did you ever play that question arts game on BBC Bite Size when you were in school? Not, not to my, I don't recall it. I'll be honest. You're not a 10, you're a 12? Hell yeah. Yeah, I am. This go game is so long. And it's all, nothing has happened. It has just been a walking simulator. I'm very stunned by the graphics, but I've been let down by the lack of anything. Free healthcare, yet we are renowned for our squint teeth. Yeah, but that's because Americans focus more. So, this is the thing Amer British people actually have better dental hygiene than Americans, but Americans focus more on cosmetic changes and therefore have much straighter and whiter teeth. But generally, they have more fillings um, and more tooth decay per, per head. So, it's like they don't really have better teeth, they just have nicer looking teeth. Uh, because uh, because we have free healthcare, we focus on the hygiene because that's the free part, but you have to pay for cosmetic um, procedures. There's, uh, there, there's the facts! There's me being boring. If you want to know the real reason, my teeth are better than yours, Americans. Uh, they're just... Look, I get that they're, they're not as white as yours, right? Because I have to pay to get them whitened over here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm in like short people land. These rooms are like really small. Oh, was it yellow? It looked orange, but now it looks yellow. What the fuck room is this? The attic room? Okay, this one's weird. Reminds me of midsummer for some reason. God, you know the... Right. Small trigger warning, because this is pretty graphic, but I suppose I'm only describing it. But, like, fucking... That bit... The, the, the girl... You know the sister in Midsummer. You know when they find the sister. You know because the sister like the start of the movie is like uh, spoilers, but like it also it's the, like the first like it's like the setup of the film. Uh, the, the, how the sister kills herself and and the parents. The fucking like picture of her like the, like the, when they find the body, just like oh that's it's one of the Midsummer like didn't have much like graphic content in it, but the, when it did, it was like graphic and it like sticks with me so badly. That, like, even... That was, like, the the most... Like, out of all the gross, gory shit that happened in that movie, that part sticks with me the most. That part is, like, ugh. Horrible. It's a great movie, though. Midsummer is, like, a definite watch. The cliff bit... That bit is not as bad to me as the, the finding the sister. And I don't know why, but it's, like, the honest truth. That light is so bright. Makes these rooms look green. But there is a slight green tint to everything. I couldn't finish. I get that. Like, I definitely get being, like... Like crit, like not cringed, cringe the wrong word, but like make being made like in uncomfortable enough to turn that movie off. I like, I enjoyed it, but like, uh, you know, I haven't watched it again though. I really want to. It's a very good film. Who directed Midsummer? Who made that movie? The English usually have better teeth than the Scots. I can say this because I'm Scottish. I I don't know about that, <laughs> to be honest. I've never thought about it. Ari Aster. Yeah, it was a good movie. Ooh, okay. Cutscene. Okay, progress, progress. Is this a hole back down to the room's normal? I'm gonna get pushed, aren't I? Oh. Oh, I fell. Never mind. How long is this? Oh, I cracked the camera. Okay, surely it won't make me play like much of the game with a fucking cracked camera. I'm in the fucking frozen rooms, the frozen aisle rooms. Okay. Oh, the little digital green line as well as the crack is a nice touch. Hey, that, 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 like, digital damage as well as physical is a very nice touch. When they crack the camera in Outlast, they don't do that, and that's a very... It's a nice touch. Definitely. Again, this game just feels so, like, vi visually, it looks so real. 
I really like that they made the enemy not humanoid and instead like like kind of thing. Oh, wait, is this the end? Oh yeah, this is the end. That's where I crawled in. I made my way back. That's the door. Yo, I'm gonna sprint. Fuck this. I feel like I'm gonna get chased. Okay. Wait. I don't feel this. Oh, we followed this tape to get to the gap. I remember. Like, I distinctly remember following this tape to get to the gap. And then... <gasps> yes! Wait. Uh, am I back? This is the facility, right? I'm back. I'm, I've went through the threshold. It's called the threshold, I've remembered, by the way. The, the door that I... The hey. stop, everyone was like, the door? Is anyone in here? This is, that was the threshold, I remember. The, that's called the threshold. Have I went through the threshold or not? Go. Is, Wait, I'm back at the facility? So, did I go through the threshold or not? Am I in the real world or the back room still? It didn't look like the threshold. It didn't have the glow to it that the threshold does. Is this the research facility? Magwave. Someone was talking, it was my character asking, is anyone there? God, it, the, the lighting in this game is too good. It's the lighting that makes it look so good. I, that and the way that the camera feels so real. Like, the way it focuses and stuff. They've done such a good job. I'm very, like... As much as I complain about it being a bit of a walking simulator, which it has been. Vis it has been a visually stunning one. Game is this? Uh, the Complex Expedition. There's also just just the complex I found, right? I, I, I decided to play this one, but there's also just like a... This is definitely like a sequel, but I don't know if they're connected in any way. I don't know if it's just that the guy made two games about the back rooms. Oh, did I just see something move? Shit, wait, no, I'm still in the back rooms. No, 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 no. I'm still in the back rooms. I didn't go through the threshold. That was the threshold door, though. What? Am I, am I trapped? Is that the end of the game? It's a crack forming. Why is the light gone red? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? What is happening? What do you mean blood is vaping? Oh, because the, the the smoke. I think that's... I think that's because the, the fabric of the building... Did he just clip through the floor again? But I went through the threshold! Oh, I've clipped through into the real world. He's dead. He clipped through back into the real This happens, yeah, you can clip back through into the real world, can't you? I think he's dead. I think that's probably killed him. Shit! Oh, that's so rough! He thinks he's gotten through the threshold and finally back to safety, and then he clips through into the real world and dies. Well, I assume, anyway. I doubt he lived through that. That's so rough. Magwave Research Institute. So I guess that was research within... Because there's some research... They built some research bits inside the back rooms. I could have firmed it, me. All right, lad. All right, lad. Calm down. There's multiple endings, I think. Shit, did I get the shit one? Oh, that's sad. That's it, yeah. I think that's it. It was good. It is a very good game. It's just a shame. I feel like... I'm not a fan of massively jump scare heavy stuff, and the back rooms like the game. The back rooms is so good because it's so scarcely populated, and there's only like a couple of unfriendly entities. But I kind of wish just a little bit more interactive stuff had happened, because it was a it was a just a, a very visually cool, but it was just a walking simulator. Not a bad game though. Not a bad game. I'm gonna put it out there. Not a bad game. However, a completed game. And with that, let's look up the other endings. Um, hold on. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Um, 
Uh, IDK, how indie devs make their graphics so good. I have no idea. It's insane. It's insane. Hold on. Um, like, ridiculous, like, graphical quality. Like, I've seen AAA games not like that good. And, like, it wasn't that the gra thing is, because they went... But it was cleverly done, because the textures weren't super high quality or anything like that. But it's because they went for the VHS style. They got away with having slightly lower res textures. But they did it in a way that makes it look... Like, they they just got the camera so down and right. They didn't matter that the textures weren't 100% right, and that's what's cool about it. Like, that's what I find cool. That was that was the sick thing. And, like, things are out of focus a lot because of the camera. But it looks real. Like, it's so clever. Like, it, it really, really impressed by it. 